believers you are welcome to believers global tv if you know you are truly a believer then this is the right place for you this is believers global tv on this channel we create christian content that will edify your spirit that will build you up in the way of the lord and all the contents that we create on this channel are purely christian content so please subscribe to this channel and turn on the post notification bell so that each time we release any content at all, you'll be notified. The Bible says our faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So it is what you hear that builds you up. It is what you hear that transforms your life. It is what you hear and you engage that brings result into your life. There must be the profit point of following Jesus. Whilst it is not the major reason for following him, it is impossible to sell a Jesus to the nations that has no profit point in their life and expect people to lay down their entire lives and even die for him. It is impossible. The disciples came to Jesus. This frustration did not just start with our world. The disciples came to Jesus and said, listen, listen, we have left everything to follow you. We have left, you claim that you are God incarnate. We left our businesses. Peter left fishing. The disciples left so many things. We have left all to follow you. In all of our discussions, you have not told us our gain and our profiting in following you. You would think Jesus would say you are such stupid, selfish people. Look at what he said, verse 28. Jesus said that who he that has followed me Matthew's synoptic account now says in the generation when the son of man shall sit at the throne of his glory ye shall also sit upon 12 thrones judging the 12 tribes of Israel this is one synoptic account another one will say the person who has followed me in this life he will receive a hundredfold of this and that with persecution and in the world to come life everlasting I have investigated why many people may not seem to be drawn to the things of God. Why is it that it is difficult for revival to happen? The global awakening, is it so hard to preach the gospel? What about the communication of the faith life is hard? And I found out that there is something wrong with the kind of Jesus we are selling to the nations. There is a context of Jesus respectfully speaking that has impoverished africa is brought africa as a nation down it, there are many people today who with all due respect it looks like their lives were better off as non-christians before they became christians because as non-christians even though they were not saved they were a lot more responsible than church has made them now and there are witnesses who can compare before or after and say all you have become now is a greater fanatic with no results to show as far as following Jesus is concerned. As an idol worshipper, they say, you seem to have been a better father. As an idol worshipper, you seem to have been a more responsible person because if you are not responsible, the altars will judge you immediately. You will wake up with headache and noise the gods warning you. But now you have come into a faith life and it looks like it has sold you a narrative that you are loving Jesus at the expense of your children, loving Jesus at the expense of your life, the continuity of your life. So when you look at the average believer, his life is not a good testimony. The average Christian family, the only consolation to many people is heaven. Are we together now? The Bible says the mountain of the Lord's house shall be exalted and there will be a kind of teaching that will come from that mountain and when other people start hearing it they will call themselves and say this is what we are looking for there is something we have been looking for for years for decades finally we have found it come let us go to the mount of the lord by themselves to the house of the god of jacob there is something we have found there and i'm praying in the name of jesus that may we be the generation that will compel the world to come to jesus that we will present such evidence 
that will make a businessman know he needs Jesus. A president of a nation know that he needs Jesus. An ordinary man. The feast was for everybody. But out of all of them, there were three groups there. The group of wealthy and successful people. The group of poor and dejected people. And then all other people. Only one out of the three groups came to respond to that call. The first group that Jesus called, they were too busy as professionals. All of the groups, the one who was in real estate, the one who was in agriculture, the one who just married, they had things that they considered to be useful. And since we are not going to present a Jesus that can be useful to that kind of life, they threw everything away and said, I'm sorry. Then they said, go to the poor. Bring the poor, bring the blind bring the lame. I hope you know that the reason why the poor and the blind and the lame came was simply because they knew that they were already left for dead. So it was a privilege for them to be part of that banquet. But the, the master was angry and he said, you know what? I'm going to give you another mandate. Go to the street. This banquet is for everybody, not just for the rich not just for the poor it is for everybody but i am placing something upon you that with it you will go and compel everyone to come in that my house may be filled thank you for staying to the end of this message but before you leave i want to tell you a story there was a father who has two sons and so he sent two of his sons to the farm, like to go and harvest yam. So he called them both and sent them. The elderly one says he is going to go, that he is going to like go on the errands. But the younger one says he is not going to go. And so they left the presence of the man and behold, the one that says he will go to the farm does not actually went. But the one who says he was not going to go, at a point he thought within himself and said, my father has been very responsible for me, so I will go. So he changed his mind and went. So I want to ask, among these two sons, who actually does the will of the father? It is the younger one. So as you have listened to this message, it's not about listening alone. If you listen, um, probably you feel stirred up. But later on, the zeal, the passion that you had when you were listening to this message dies and you do not apply this message. It means the time that you dedicated listening to, them, to this message was a waste. So it is not about what you share alone. It's not about the messages that you listen to alone it is more of what you take out of those messages and then apply to your daily lives to make you um better so i do hope and i pray that this message will transform your life will turn your life around 